I'm going to do a little video on this guy because his role model was psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. So that you get to understand the grand Bahrain master that entered uh, United States of America uh, through this MK Ultra case and started to tutor young people on how to think, how to see the world. This couple was involved in it. And let's have a little fun out of it. Out of what psychiatrist Peter Kopsch was the only person involved in MK Ultra that gave them a green light, then probably through harassment of the people, there was more people that gave the thumbs up. Uh, I am just the one that... We'll do that ugly stuff today. Uh, you are not going to like me. So let's get it done with it. This guy, it's about this guy. It's about this young couple. Uh, I'm going to think about this man differently once I see him with the children. Once I see him uh, married to his beautiful bride, to his beautiful wife, but right now, based on this video here, I'm not even sure what exactly I have seen. This was the video. Is this was the video that was involved in MK Ultra. This young couple started to date probably sometimes in what was 2013, maybe already. Uh, Let's see, if not even earlier. I didn't pay attention to that. I'm going to pay attention as I go through this stuff. Uh, I didn't see this channel at all, but this is very provocative. It's what psychiatrist Peter Kopsch hoped for is going to open him ability to chat, uh, to interconnect with the people and present himself as a useful creature to the society. So, um, if there's anybody out there that would want to connect himself to the psychiatrist Peter Kopp, uh, I'm just going to say, go ahead and make my day. Let's see what this young man has to say. We've got a problem. I need to address something with you here. My... Uh, he's saying, my beautiful... Beautiful, gorgeous, strong, gorgeous, strong, confidence, future wife, bright Tessa. Come on, man. Um, why do you need to ask him that she is with a strong confidence? I am just glad for you that you're happy that she is so beautiful for you. Um, is this like really necessary? I mean, I would, if I were, I would not. I definitely would not. You never would see me on this scenario here, but let's go. Confidence, future bride, Desa, <laughs> went to buy a wedding gown dress. Uh, she went to buy a wedding dress, people. She went to buy a wedding dress, okay? I had a problem with this stuff. I did not understand even what this guy was talking about from the beginning. He comes really, really strong in the second part of this video, um, which is not okay. Ah, um, the second thing, if you do a video like this, young man, and you did make money with these videos, uh, you should pay that money for that dress. Get yourself both of those underwear, um, uh, garments, noodles, and bring it home and show it to the people. So the people would even understand. You know, this, you just found yourself on my picture, on my little screen here in Slovenia, and caught attention. Uh, for me to understand what this is about. Um, I had to Google search, learn, understand first what we exactly we are talking about. And I still don't know.
precisely what we are talking about. Uh, but go ahead. He bought a wedding dress, a wedding dress for bright. Uh, look like this. Uh, even Lavro was on my side. Lavro stated that I probably would not understand. This guy was involved in, in the circle of the Illuminati, to make myself clear. He got, they got to know him. That's how he became known, visible, and so on. Uh, this here, look, is what your wedding dress hopefully would look like to me personally i don't care she can have a running shoes it's okay whatever it is i don't know i am somehow not impressed with any of this stuff here because you know i learned that life life is just not what you see right there for me, I don't even know what the hell I would think about it, about this kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm ever going to do this. Because to, to me, this is like, it's bizarre. You, after you're going to talk to psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, now I'm talking to law enforcement. You will understand exactly why that's bizarre. That's not bizarre for him. That's not bizarre for London. That's not bizarre for average of you. But it sure is bizarre for me. Let's go, man. Dress whatever you want to call it. Dress whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it sucks. All right, because you're a professional, you're doing video. Let's go. Here's a problem. Okay. Yeah, what's the problem? She went to the store, which is supposed to be one of the most magical days of her life. This is supposed to be one of the most magical days of her life. You know, man, if you pay more attention to her, probably you would not even accent about that she is uh, on this video, that she has a self-confidence and... Uh, you know, that she is gorgeous, and, you know, women next to the right man have self-confidence. They feel they're beautiful. Uh, what's the matter? Are you insecure about that stuff? Next getting married to me, of course. And she went to purchase this beautiful wedding dress. Yeah. The lady says to her, she says, glad you found your dress. The glad that you found your dress. The undergarment choices come in two options. Why don't you tell us what kind of lady that was? Because you have a problem here, my man. You should explain, was she black? Was she white? What's the problem? Why is it that you don't stress? What color, since you're, you know, the video that you are creating, it's like out there too. Uh... Quite frankly, your video even goes into the category of the videos that raises the question of whether you are truly into your wife, whether you are truly into interracial relationship, or is it that you are out there uh, to steer the shit? Quite frankly, I'm going to say. So was she black, this lady, or was she white? Or was she Hispanic? Or who was she? Uh, would it make a difference if she was white? Or if she was black? Based on the issue that I raised right now, the lady was white, I came to conclusion, right? Because if she was black, I don't think that probably that she could uh, complain to you. I mean, have a second thought. So, your bright and you, my friend, could be very two different issues. Your bright could have a problems that I would associate even with a racial inequality issues, whatever. Even with a racial prejudice, I'm going to say. 
And you, yourself, you are just untold story for now. Let's go. Undergarment choices come in two options. The standardized choice is nude, which is... Okay, the noodle is the standard choice. The undergarment, what is the undergarment? The undergarment noodle is what you see here. First, when I saw it, I got fucking scared. I said to myself, oh, I said, no way, man. Uh, a beautiful bride like this, with this? No. It can't be like that. I mean, that would be too bad. That would be one, I'm going to say to you, that for me personally would not go. If she had worn, uh, I don't know, Do they have anything, any like this too? Let's see if they have any with the running shoes. I don't like this kind of shoes. Oh, I like this. I like to see that woman is comfortable, comfortable, that she have a healthy fit. That's, no, it's not so bad. This is, for me, very okay. It's actually okay. Nothing wrong with it, but okay. All right, this is just my idea. We are, I'm from a different planet, as you say. So be it. So this is a noodle, the undergarment noodle. I had not come across anything that would look better than this, eventually this here. But I would say this is maybe a little bit better, all right? If you want to pay a little extra, I think that's like a little better what he refers to as a noodle. Why are you referring to this as a noodle? I mean, it's not noodle. It's this here, basically, that majority of the people with the English language skills pursue as a noodle. This is okay. Comfortable. Nice cotton like that. It's cool. Question only is what kind of noodle this is. I would kind of prefer the bride with this kind of noodle. But the noodle, I don't think it's the right word. Probably some other word that is more appropriate than a noodle. Because somehow, man, I don't kind of see connection here. I don't, and I, I think you're into this here. You know, I think that you are like into well uh, for you see this big fucking dress this I think that you are into this kind of stuff but all right um, so it's not exactly the best choice of words people involved in MKUltra had this problem with the uh, noodles so that now when we know what a noodle is um and we're going to consider this one here as a noodle. Um, we're going to discuss this issue here. So let the man speak. Garment choices come in two options. The standardized choice is nude, which is free. Noodle is free. Okay, you understand? The standard the standard noodle, undergarment noodle is for free. The standard is free. What the fuck is the standard, man? Is this here that is free? Is this free? Because I wouldn't want this on my bride. Even if it's free, for one thing I'm going to say, I wouldn't want. That's why I said, next time when you do the video like this, if psychiatrist Peter Kopp should have told you that, get you pay those few extra dollars, dimes, bring that home and show that to the people so the people know exactly what you're talking about. You know? 
or take a little time to show, to, to demonstrate us on the internet, what exactly do you mean by this stuff, right? So that we know what the standard means. Maybe the standard is this. Except that what is the standard? Again, you're playing stupid. What is the standard? Standard is what? Obviously, what, what is it? In continuation, you're going to say you are implying on the one that is not for free is the one that matches your color is what they told your bright. Now, your bright is African-American, black. So, if she wants like this noodle, she has to pay the extra money. So I'm going to assume that the noodle that was for free offered to her is actually white. But if you like the undergarment to match your skin tone, there's an upcharge. Excuse my... So hold on, cowboy. Let's go back here. So it's exactly what I said. If you want the undergarment, obviously the noodle, right? That matches... Again, we don't even know. Listen to this stuff here. Glad you found your dress. Uh -huh. The undergarment choices come in two options. The standardized choice is nude, which is free. But if you like the undergarment to match your skin tone, there's an But you like the undergarment, Excuse my, friends, my but friend. Are you fist fucking me? So you're yeah, telling me this is this is horror. -y. You don't even tell if the one that is not free is uh, not a noodle. What you are saying basically here is that uh, you're saying two things we have not even established. You know, you're, you're so, so, uh, I mean, this video is so loosey. I was going to say lousy. No, loosey. I mean, it's like, what exactly? What, what's your customers here? I mean, the people that watch this channel, I mean, I did not watch other videos. This is the first video that caught my attention, and I got agitated because of psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, who got involved in one. Enough to backfire, actually, with this stuff. So the lady stated that we don't even know if it's for the noodle or it's not. And I don't really care. I'm just going to assume, like average people assume, that the lady suggested you that the white one is going to be for free noodle, and the black noodle is not going to be for free, basically. It's going to cost her money, basically, to serve you in a black noodle. Uh, I'm going to put it this way. All right. I don't know. Uh, to me personally, it's a matter of choice. Uh, but black on the white, I mean, it's not a bad noodle if it's white. I'm just going to put it this way. This is one thing. All right. Now, uh, you know, I know this one thing, man. If you go to the AliExpress and you look at the AliExpress, and uh, it doesn't matter, right? Everything, it's not only on AliExpress, wherever you go, the colors are differently priced. It can be the same noodle as we all know, you know? And different color will cost different. We all know this. The color that matches best the product, that makes the product more visible, is the one that will have higher cost. Only, I'm not going to say idiots out there, manufacturers, that are selling, basically what you're saying, colorblind, are, are matching item with the same costs for whatever color might there be. But when you go to the store, the color, wherever you're going to go to the store, the, the first colors that match the product are going to be the first colors that are going to be sold. 
That's why the retailers, wholesalers do have the right to set the price according to their taste. You understand? Now, because this seller was white seller that suggested, and you know, honestly here, I'm going to say, you made me believe even more that you have some kind of racial tendencies in you. I don't know. When I'm going to see you with the children, uh, I'm going to have a different opinion about you. But as of right now, you came out weird, strange, confusing, and... Uh, very, very uncomfortable, I feel, about this kind of issues. I am not for this kind of relationship. Uh, obviously, if you're appealing to the public, to appeal to the public like this, in my opinion, uh, in front of your wife, with your wife, uh, you know, you're making her actually really insecure. You're making her actually really, uh, with this type of environment, you're making her actually really uh, even doubt herself. I'm going to put it this way. It's, it's rather strange. It's, to me, this is bizarre. I'm going to put it this way. So she comes home to you and she's crying to you. She says, hubby, you know what they told me? No, she doesn't have to cry. No, I'm stupid. Uh, she says, they told me this and this and this. And it was a white lady who did this. And you go off. Okay. Somehow, some way, I can identify with it. I can actually even see myself in you in a little portion that you, because this is a repeated incident from 2013, you did go off on that kind of issue. You too dated longer than, but in 2013, this was the incident. It did set you a fuse, probably for a minute. If it didn't go for a minute, till at least you understood exactly what it was, then you do have, obviously, some kind of mental problems, I would say, even. I think that you don't have mental problems because you're doing business. You are selling your noodles through the internet to your noodle public to make money living with it and uh, I will not judge you if that's right or that's wrong because I'm not one of the people that would uh, go in a sense after you to uh, whatever I don't I don't police people I don't go and I don't do that kind of stuff I don't want to get into it but you are my friend you are because you pinpointed into a sales tactics. Uh, the stuff that I have spoken about, you are very, very well aware. This incident go to 2013. And you are making shit out of absolutely no shit out of nowhere, basically. You understand me what I'm saying? So the chances now that you are racially motivated even in doing this kind of stuff exist. You are after all telling people that they must be fucking colorblind. And if you are really into your wife, your gorgeous, beautiful, self-conscious would be better than self-confident. Wife you would not be doing stuff like this. You wouldn't be doing this stuff like this. Some in the United States of America that are referred to as a neo-Nazis, refer to the stuff that you do, 
stuff that you do as form of cultural Marxism that's basically creating society in their crazy minds, a society that is uh, colorless, that is uh, people based with the people. It's a utopia bullshit suggesting that you are creating people like you are creating a society that is colorless, the society where uh, people are prohibited even from seeing colors and so on. So I definitely will steer my fucking way from your psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch. I will distance myself from the lunacy that you present to the people on the internet. Um, this psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch, is a strange fellow that I don't want to have really in absolutely any sense. I, I couldn't see myself in it. He's also a mentally ill person next to being criminal and strange. The guy is really mentally ill. Uh, maybe you didn't have a problem, but people watching this video will now see the problem. They will understand now where you had it with your bullshit. To me, the white noodles on a black lady are fine. Actually, almost any kind of noodles on a fine black ass are completely fine. You understand what I'm... Do you hear me what I'm saying? There is no need to go and to match your skin tone there's an upcharge excuse my french but are you fist fucking me um to match your skin tone there is an upcharge well um you know if i went to a black guy that would be selling me underwear and he would say you know i mean black guy let me think about that stuff he would be happy probably that my girlfriend is black he would say if he would say something like this to me i would appreciate i would ask him do you think i should match my skin what, what do you think she would want you know in that sense um i don't know man your girlfriend is missing on a lot the life out there is to celebrate when you get married, when the two get married, when the two get together, you start your life. It's all about being happy, secure in a good relationship that you can look forward to one another. Uh, way better than fist fucking, my friend. Hold on, I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a, it already went twice today. <laughs> there you go. So, I hope I clarify this video for you, my friend. So you're telling me that it's free to be white, but if my bride has a different skin tone than white, she has to pay extra money to get the undergarment to match her skin tone? First of all, why is the standard white? How fucked is that, that in 2024, the standard, which is free, is a nude skin tone. Nude could be a lot of different colors, but they decided to make white nude the standard. Okay. Uh, the message from the psychiatrist cop should stop. Hold on. This is absolutely fucking ridiculous. So now she's standing there awkward with the people who are selling her the dress. They're not the designers, but they're like, yeah, there's an upcharge <laughs> if you want the undergarment to match your skin tone. What? So now she used to awkwardly beat around the bush and be like, well, I want the other one, but she's not paying for it. So now she's ordering this wedding dress. She's going to dye the undergarment herself to match her skin tone. Wedding dress designers. 
um, did she actually had to dye the dress to match her skin tone? Yeah, that is a good question. Um, did you guys actually even realize that they would have to dye that undergarment so that it would match her skin? Come on, guys, be honest. Just take goddamn note. This is bullshit, and you should be called out. Figure it out. Wedding dress designers of TikTok, we've got a problem. I need to address something with you here. My beautiful, gorgeous, strong, confident future bride, Desa, <laughs> went to buy a wedding gown, dress, whatever you want to call it. Here's a problem. Okay. Since this is the star we are talking about, the star that is right there posing for you, uh, with a curtain behind and is making that threatening look like he's gonna bite at any time you know he was really really proud about this photo and according to him uh, somehow it have bitten him in his ass okay she went to the store, which is supposed to be one of the most magical days of her life, next to getting married to me, of course, and she went to purchase this beautiful wedding dress. The lady says to her, she says, glad you found your dress. The undergarment choices come in two options. The standardized choice is nude, which is free. But if you like the undergarment to match your skin tone, there's an upcharge. Excuse my French, but are you fist fucking me? So you're telling me that it's free to be white? But if my bride has a different skin tone than white, she has to pay extra money to get the undergarment to match her skin tone? First of all, why is the standard white? How fucked is that that in 2024, the standard, which is free, is a nude skin tone? Nude could be a lot of different colors, but they decided to make white nude the standard? This is absolutely fucking ridiculous. So now she's standing there awkward, with the people who are selling her the dress, they're not the designers, but they're like, yeah, there's an upcharge if you want the undergarment to match your skin tone. What? So now she gets to awkwardly beat around the bush and be like, well, I want the other one, but she's not paying for it. So now she's ordering this wedding dress. She's going to dye the undergarment herself to match her skin tone. Wedding dress designers, take goddamn note. This is bullshit and you should be called out. Figure it out. Wedding dress designers have ticked. All right, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I think David Duke would give you a thumbs up. He would give you a clean 10 for what he would refer to as a cultural Marxism. All right, man.